Donald's Diary is definitely an interesting short. It's good fun, but there are a few things about it that I thought were quite peculiar. This was released in 1954, directed by Jack Kinney, and stars Clarence Nash as the voice of Donald Duck, of course. And we have Leslie Dennison as Donald's internal monologue. That's what he is credited as on IMDb. This is our narrator. And it starts off with Donald writing in his diary and he's telling us about this romance he has with Daisy Duck. Now, the first thing you will notice if you watch this is that Daisy doesn't look anything like Daisy. Yes, she looks like a duck, but that's about it. She just doesn't look like Daisy at all, which I thought was a bit peculiar. But it starts off with Donald telling us about how he had eyes for Daisy and then tried to woo her. But what we're actually seeing on screen is completely different. Daisy is chasing after Donald. Kind of an interesting concept there. Donald also looks very dapper. He looks very well dressed, very sophisticated. He looks like himself if you were to take the clothing away. But he otherwise looks a lot more smartly dressed than we would expect of Donald. And finally, Donald and Daisy get together. They have a relationship, a marriage, and things begin to go a little bit different. Um, things happen in ways that Donald didn't expect them to, life after a marriage. And I won't say what happens, but um, he begins to experience things not as expected. And there's this fantastic sequence in this beautiful bit of animation with a long corridor. It's a standard small corridor, but it looks a lot longer than it actually is to emphasise um, what Donald was going through. And I think that bit of animation towards the end was an absolute delight to watch. So visually, it's really compelling and you know really really entertaining really enjoyable but th th there were some unusual choices for example the design of daisy and daisy not really looking like daisy and also the internal monologue of donald i find it really i didn't really think donald was donald because donald it makes sense that his internal monologue would be in a completely different voice uh leslie dennison enunciates he speaks very clearly Whereas when Cl Clarence Nash is voicing Donald Duck, Donald Duck is obviously quite hard to understand. And if Donald were to narrate this entire short, which I think is about six or seven minutes, I think it would be quite hard to follow what he is saying for the most part. You know, if you have to listen to Donald for seven minutes without any other voice. So it makes sense. But it also meant that I struggled to believe that it was Donald's story I was listening to. At times I felt like he was a different character, a different duck. And this would have worked just as well if it had been a fresh new character. Although Huey, Dewey and Louie are in it and I do adore them. So I really liked it. I thought it was very well developed. It's rare that we get this much direct information about the relationship between two characters. For example, we rarely get to see what Minnie and Mickey's life is like as a couple. In fact, there are shorts where they're together and then sometimes they're not um, shorts that are created after that where they're not actually officially a couple so their relationship's a bit back and forth but I guess it's the same for Donald and Daisy but this one definitely is very concrete the relationship that they have it's beautifully edited wonderfully narrated if in a different voice to what I would have expected but I really enjoyed it Donald's Diary is certainly a lot of fun and worth watching